Yo, Bo, welcome to another episode of In the Life of Mighty Fan. I'm actually going to start this episode. It's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day, Mother's Day to all the moms out there, um, including my own, who I just visited. And, like, 80s me is geeking out right now. I'm in this Target. Every now and then I just, you know, peruse down, uh, you know, the, the aisle where they got all the cars and stuff. And I, I still love cars, man. So, I... <laughs> Normally, I don't get anything, but look at this. They got some vintage-looking action figures that look straight out of the 1980s, which, again, I'm geeking out. This is like toy, 80s Toys R Us Mighty Fan here. Look at this. So they got Return of the Jedi. Look at these. They got the biker guy. You got Han. I know I saw Leia back here somewhere. You got an Ewok right there. Wicket. There's Han. There's Leia in the outfits they wore in Return of the Jedi. Then over here, you got Indiana Jones. You got all of, like the different characters from the Raiders of the Lost Ark movie. If they had an Indy, I, I may have gotten it. <laughs> uh, and then they got the, uh, I've seen this before, but they got the Falcon. They got the Falcon right there. That's freaking frick, cool, man. That's freaking cool. Got some other, like, crafts. Yeah, man, like, 80s me is geeking out right now, man. Shout out to Snacks. I know, you know, he's got a lot of the nostalgia stuff, too. He always posts on Instagram. They even got, like, He-Man figures. Masters of the Universe. I mean, they're kind of updated, but, you know, you got... But you also got some ones that kind of look vintage, like that guy. Stratos does look a little vintage, so that's pretty cool. And maybe these things have been out for a while. I'm just kind of noticing them now. You know, I don't always look at the uh, the action figures and such, but uh, that's pretty cool. You got the, you know, you got the, uh, the ship from uh okay that's not it actually <laughs> i was gonna say it was a uh, boba fett ship but it's another ship looks like it sorry 80s me just kicking out <laughs> i i actually have this at home but you got the g1 optimus And this is pretty cool, too, because I'm a Bond fan. I almost bought this. I thought about it, but from Thunderball, the Mustang. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, they're making a lot of stuff look vintage, which is cool. I mean, look, I mean, you're talking about, you know, my era, you know, back in the, back in the day at Toys R Us. It's pretty cool. I didn't walk away with anything, but... Like you say, if they had an Indy, if they had an Indiana Jones figure, I probably would have. I, I probably would have got. They had an Alf figure too. They had an Alf figure in the uh, in the front or in the back area back there. Alf was one of my favorite shows growing up too. So I almost I almost walked home with that too. I didn't, but because I have to get some other stuff. But man, cool, cool, cool. Like you said, it's been a while since I've actually like looked looked at stuff. Maybe it's best I don't. <laughs> oh, this looks like a Star Wars deal, too. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Look at this. So you got a van. You got Mandalorian. You got Mandalorian cars. It's pretty cool. I really like that series, too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like I said, 80s me is geeking out, so... <laughs> I don't have rights to the songs that are playing above me, so... Don't hit me. <laughs> All right. So I'll probably be back a little later. I'll make this like a two-parter. Or not a two-parter, but I'll mix this. You know, I'll do a little editing so you can, you know, see this. But I thought it was pretty cool. I just wanted to get some of this on tape. So a little vlog inside of my one of my local targets. I shaved. Ooh, look at me. Ooh. We're getting sexy back. No, I'm not. adjust the camera here so see these are like the hangers i usually get for you know obviously for the jerseys they actually went up a price these used to be like three bucks 
and now they're eight. So, but you get eighteen, and as we know, I, I I get a jersey or two, you know, here or there. So, it's good to have more hangers. I actually I also get them from the dollar store because I think you can get like a thing of seven or six or seven for a buck. But and then here. Here are the bins that I use for my hats. So as you see, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm going to the wrong one. Here they are. I mean, you can use those too. I, I, I do use these too, but they're more pricey. So you get these guys and they're usually like 10 bucks or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so like there's a lot of different um, a lot of different options you can go with but these are the ones that i like they're three high and they they're like drawers they're like little drawers so i'm gonna get one and uh hope it doesn't fall on me <laughs> they do come with wheels but i never use the wheels because i just you know put them on the floor and i stack them up as good as it's gonna be my cart's pretty loaded but uh so these are the guys right here um you see how they're stackable i mean it'd be helpful if i actually put stuff in them but <laughs> so this is gonna be my i i i have hats already in some this will be my second that does not have hats in them right now but i might try to get like one of these or two of these a cycle for the billing cycle for my red card for target but uh yeah i've always told you all about me going to target and getting this stuff so i thought i'd vlog and show you exactly me getting this stuff <laughs> jersey head and hat head problems all right well we're leaving target um i spent a little more than i thought i would but that's okay i had to get some groceries too we had some pretty decent sales for stuff. I got a 24 pack of water for, uh, or I'm sorry, water for, uh, <laughs> for I uh, under five bucks. And I like those, like, I like to put like the little flavor stuff in like the Mio's and the stuff like that. I like this. I like to get a couple, you know, a couple, uh, you know, squeezes of them per, per bottle. So, uh, you know, I, I like things with flavor. I can't, I can't, even though I work for a water cup, I, for a water company, I can't. I can't just do water alone. It, it, I never could. But so, so I flavor it up. Um, but speaking of liquid refreshment, I got my 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 alien piss that I like to drink so much. Mm. There was a movie, ironically, about a Giants fan who had beef with an Eagles fan. Um, made years ago called uh, Big Fan and I think it was loosely based off my buddy the, the captain from the Dirty 30 of course Jason shout out Jason and uh, his friend uh, so the, the guy in the movie is like sitting at home and I guess uh, I forget what I think they were watching a game on TV and he's drinking Mountain Dew and his friend called, says I don't know why you're drinking that it's alien piss and I, 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 it was the funniest thing and so from that point on i'll you know every now and then i'll throw out that it's it i'm drinking my alien piss I'm, uh, <laughs> nice day out it's a little hot you know but it's supposed to be this time of year right we're in uh we're in the month of may and all the flowers bloom in May to honor the mothers on Mother's Day. I'm not quite the poet as the as the Philly captain is, but I uh, <laughs> shout out to the Philly captain. Always doing wonderful stuff. Hope to see him at a Phillies game someday. Sometime I'm going to have to sit up in, in section 301 because it's always fun in section 301. I have to think of what my section would be. My section is 422. You can always be you in section 422. Ooh, mighty thing, get it done. 
anyhow we're leaving charge a now and we're heading home got a big game seven today please god let us win we we really were overdue to, to get out of the second round we're overdue to beat boston in a series um so we'll see what happens i have Hope. I mean, the Sixers have been a good road team all year. They've been a good road team in the playoffs. They're four and one in the playoffs so far. They have won two games in Boston, albeit it wasn't a game seven, but they did win two games in Boston already this uh, this this series. And we'll see. We'll see. But that was fun. Uh, that that aisle, I I did not ex you know did not expect to take a trip down memory lane like that. All those. Uh, 80s uh you know characters that you saw in that aisle uh reminded me of the old days at toys r us and kitty city who remembers kitty city yo bo who remembers kitty city oh this guy does i used to have there used to be a kitty city right near my house and uh yeah many uh, many a time was spent in there just kind of wide-eyed look going down the the different aisles looking at matchbox cars and action figures he-man and transformers and gi joe and shout out again to snacks and the res they both do incredible work with all the nostalgia items that they pick up and they'll put up on ig and they have displayed everywhere oh my like the responsible me was saying get out of this aisle Because I had to get groceries, I had to get a few things, the, the hangers and the, the container for the hats and jerseys and what have you. And I'm like, that's the reason I'm here. But you know, I took a little, I took a little detour. I took a little detour down those aisles, looking around a little bit. And I'm like, oh my, there's a lot of 80s stuff in here. I better film this. Like I said, if they had an Indiana Jones in there, if they had, I know they, they had a bunch of the villains from the Raiders of the Last Ark, but if they had a, if they had good old Indy there, he probably would have, that, that probably would have, would have came home. And I almost got Alf. I almost did that. I don't know why I didn't, but I, <laughs> I almost did. Gordon Shumway, otherwise known as Alf, had a school bus driver when I was young. He could he could do the best Alf. He he sounded just he he did the voice just perfectly. Ha! Per he did the perfect Alf. Impersonation. He didn't have the nose or the ears, but he could he could speak he could uh, speak just like Alf. But uh, I I can't say like the Philly captain does. We're going on a scoot. We're going on a scoot because I'm not on a scooter. I'm in the jeep, so we're we're taking a little drive. Right, we're going we're going home. That's where we're going. <laughs> a nice Mother's Day hat. I, uh, you know, got my mom a nice card and went to visit her. And uh, we actually spoke uh, through FaceTime with some relatives in India. And that was. Uh, she talked to her sister. So it was a. It was a good. It was a good visit. They had a little music going on in there. They had someone playing some songs. They're gonna have a nice. Uh, uh, I believe like a Mother's Day brunch happening there today. So things are going well for her. And uh, we got a got we got someone over there mowing their lawn. <laughs> Which I actually I go through I, I have my lawn done through Angie. Used to be Angie's list, now Angie. 
last year I started it because I started having some problems with the lawnmower. And I'm like, you know, I've mowed lawns for 30 some years. I think it's time to retire from it. <laughs> Have the experts do it. God knows I'm not an expert at it. I mean, I did it, you know, I did it, but, uh, so, and Angie's a night, you know, it's, it's, it's a good service. You actually, if you sign up for whatever it is there, there to be a member, you get, I think, uh, I forget if it's like 20% off or whatever it is per service. So you, you get like, you know, some bucks off each time. But it's not the same pro that comes every time. It's like a different pro. And the way it works is that, you know, they're looking to drum up their own business. So they'll give you their card and say, hey, if you want to use me full time, here it is. I actually got a, I got a price quote from the last person that came. And it wasn't terrible, but at the same time, I mean, I am spending a little less <laughs> through Angie. And the guy was saying all the stuff that he could do. You know, they're always going to say, you know, everything to make it sound like the greatest thing, right? But but I um, I took a card, and I'll keep them in mind. They, they, they did good work. I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't like he did a bad job. He actually uh, arrived early and did what he had to do. Talked to him for a few minutes after, gave me his card. And, you know, I, I'll keep it in mind, you know, but as we know, I mean, you know, if you can, you know, get a little, you know, pay a little less for things at times. I mean, you know, that, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it when there's all these other bills and whatever. Now, sometimes you just have to make what you feel is the right decision. But, uh... But actually, the time before the pro that was supposed to come postponed it. Uh, and then he ended up not coming anyhow. <laughs> so someone else came. So I was getting a little worried because the lawn was, it was, it was the first mow of the year of the season and I made a little mistake. So what you can do is, so I have this as an ongoing project. You can pause the project. So I paused the project once we got into the, you know, late October, early November, what have you. And then, okay, let's start it back up in March. Uh, and, uh, so when I re unpaused it, I thought that the that day I paused it for would be the first, excuse me, the first um, appointment. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go straight. I know, sorry, but um, it wasn't actually the first appointment. So I do it on a biweekly schedule. It's every two weeks. The first appointment was was two weeks from that, from the time you unpause it. Because I looked at it, I'm like, I don't really need the lawn mowed now, let me just... And then, of course, the... Uh... So what it did is it it is it it, it skipped the next appointment. <laughs> so it went from being two weeks to being four weeks. And... Um, um, I had a little issue once when I tried to change the appointment like pump it up uh before, last year so i'm like all right let me not play around with that let me see how things are looking and the lawn uh yeah the, the, the lawn was getting a little um a little grungy and <laughs> and then the pro you know uh, postponed it for another week i'm like oh no I'm like, I don't want the uh, the township to give me one of those letters at the door. Like, what the hell are you not? Uh, what, what are you? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Mow your own yard. <laughs> but uh, you know that didn't happen. They the, the pro did come and they cut it. And they're you know, actually, I was in Maryland when they came. I was visiting Slim, and the whole time I'm there, I'm like, I, I just hope they're cutting the lawn. You know, the guy was like texting me, and I'm like, I'm well, I mean. You, you know, it, because it rained, they were supposed to come on a Saturday. 
and it rained that day. Now, I'm in Maryland, so I don't know exactly what the weather's doing, you know, at my house in PA. But, you know, the, the weather, you know, when what the weather is in Maryland, you're usually going to get a day or two later in, 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 in my area, right? Most of the time. And so, he's like, it's too wet, I can't do it. And I'm just texting with him. And I'm like, all right. And he's like, he's going to come do it the next day, which is Sunday. And I, I'm just, and then I, and I got I got a text. I was actually asleep. Sunday morning, he texted me like at 5 a.m. or something. Just, you know, whatever. Like, I'm going to be there at whatever that time is. First, I'm thinking, yo, but why are you, why are you texting me at 5 a.m. on a Sunday? It's, this isn't, this is already... <laughs> This is already a strike. <laughs> but uh but no, I said, all right, you know, when I when I saw his text, I'm like, all right, you know, that, that's fine. Just, you know. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, just just hope hope he does it, hope he gets it done. Just you know, and, and, and sure enough when I got home on that Monday, everything was, you know, done and good. And that was nerve wracking. I'm like, yeah. Hopefully they're coming and, you know, because you're not there. You don't know whether, are they coming or are they not? And, you know, what's going on? And so, so he came, everything was good. Everything got taken care of. And, you know, so now this is now, I've had two different pros come so far this year. And they both done a good job. You know, nothing against the job they did. Actually, I had Angie come out. I, I went through Angie to have my gutters clean last year. So the service has been pretty good. I think for other stuff, though, like I know if I have plumbing issues, I, I went with a plumber, Len the Plumber Company, some year, years ago. They did a really good job. So I would go back with them if I have any plumbing issues. But, uh, you know, the outside stuff, I think I'll just continue to go with Angie. You never know, sometimes with pro, you know, you hire if you hire a pro and their prices are fluctuating, they go up or whatever, there's all these different things that, you know, could happen. At least with Angie, it's like a set price. You get a different pro every time, it seems, but, but the price is the same. I'm just yapping on as I'm driving home. Don't mind me. I, uh... <laughs> but yeah, man, a lot of good stuff, man. I, you know, I'm not a, obviously I'm not a toy collector. You know, when I was younger, you know, a kid I was. Every now and then I might get a, like, a little, like, a, a, a die cast car or something. You know, like some car from, like, the, you know, the, the muscle cars or whatever. I, that, those are the ones I like, although I don't own one. But <laughs> I don't think I can maintain it. It's hard enough to maintain what I have, right? So the Mini Cooper is actually in the shop right now. So, um, but I, you know, I, I like looking down those aisles, you know, it just brings back the memories and, uh, you know, it's cool to see the stuff, you know, what once was really popular when I was a kid is now popular again, you know, go figure, right? Everything comes, comes cycles around. So now you see Transformers, He-Man, Star Wars, Indiana Jones now, right? Alf. <laughs> All these different things. From when I was a youngster, now kids today are appreciating it. Whether it's in, you know, action figure form or movies or cartoons or what have you. It's it's cool. You know, it's a cool thing. But uh That was that was neat. That was neat to see all that. But yeah, the uh, all right. I'm gonna go through this light. I know, I know. It's still yellow. I didn't think I could stop in time. Um, I know it's bad enough for me with the jerseys and the hats, boy. If ever, if, 
I ever tried to get into the action figure game or that's oh forget it. it. It would be over. It would be over. <laughs> it would be done. Jer jerseys alone, there's a lot. Hats alone, there's a lot. Oh God, with the action figures, oh, it never ends. I actually did watch a couple YouTube. Uh, I guess I'll stay in the shade here. I I, I watched a, a couple YouTube uh, you, you, uh, 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 YouTubers, I guess, YouTube uh, um, vlogs. There's this one guy who's a, a, a car collector, a matchbox collector, and Hot Wheels and all that stuff, you know. And he did like a 30-day, uh, uh, obviously it was all sped up, but a 30-day um, challenge to see how many rare Hot Wheels or matchbox cars he can find at Walmart for a month. And he went to like four or five different Walmarts every day, every night for a month uh, to see how many he could pull. And he actually made out okay, but it, at the end it really wasn't like <laughs> tremendously tremendous. But he actually had one employee once tell him that he couldn't film in there. <laughs> you know, but it was like... But he would be there, he would be like, with, with he would get there, I guess, real, either late at night or early in the morning, whatever it was. And so he would actually get there when the boxes were there unopened. And I thought it was kind of cool. One of the Walmarts actually let him, because he helped them, I guess, open the boxes and put the, the, the cars out on display. So they let him keep, like, a, 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 a nice... Uh, um, day to you, sir. Wait, someone's un unhappy. Oh, my. Uh, almost didn't end well. <laughs> <sighs> but they let him keep, like, a little display, you know, piece and some boxes. So that was pretty cool. He made out pretty nice that day. But it was cool because it was all sped up. It was like him looking the same aisle every, every time, looking at different things. You know, and putting you know, this, that, and you know, and it was all, like I said, it was sped up. So, uh, it was cool to kind of see, you know, yeah, if you, if you constantly go to some place, what, what's the variety going to be like? And sure enough, it wasn't the greatest. <laughs> A lot of times it was the same kind of stuff, or at least it didn't have the rare stuff that he was looking for these places obviously get stuff in every day um, then you see these other uh, you know these other you know uh, channels and these these videos on YouTube people's collections I mean people have like the the, uh, the bigger version the die cast cars on like every single car they have just lined up in, in display cases and obviously, it's like me with the jerseys and hats. If you collect something long enough, you're going to accumulate a lot. A lot, a lot. So, if you keep up with it, right? So, it's not surprising when you see these people's collections. Like, oh my goodness, they have everything. Well, they've been at it for a long time. That's why. Um, people ask me, oh, you have so much. You know, how do you, how do, you do all them? I'm like, well, I mean, I've been at it for close to 20 years now. You know, I mean, it, it adds up. And I, I don't really, um, I'll be careful here. Um, it's almost had one accident earlier. Let's not make it try almost to have two. <laughs> that was scary because it's a shady area and I couldn't see the car coming, uh, to, uh, when I was turning. I didn't see them right away. Uh, I get, that gets you up in the morning, I'll tell you that. But, uh, no, um, it's, it's yeah, it's, it, look, I mean, it, yeah, I, I do, and I, I'm constantly looking, I'm getting stuff, and, I mean, that's why, that's why I have the amount that I have. Yeah, I just keep at, keep at it. You know, it's like anything else, right? But, uh, no, these uh, these collections are amazing. You know, some of these collections. I know my buddy Slim was showing 
uh, this collection of guy who has heat uh, 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 transformers. Well, really, a lot of stuff. He has a He-Man room too, but trans and he's got like every trans every G1 transformer, everything you can imagine. You know, Unicron, like everything, rare pieces, custom pieces, and yeah. But I'm I'm sure he's been at it for a very long time, and that's what you could do, right? You see people people in the sneaker game. They have all these different pairs of Jordans and. All these different shoes. I know, you know, Rez, King Leo, they, they have a big collection, but they've been at it for a very long time. Snacks, I remember when he was getting shoes, sneakers. He, I mean, he had a ton of all these kind of ones, right? Well, he was at it for a long time. Speaking of a uh, sneaker game, I did watch the movie Air last night on Amazon, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. I like the... I heard the soundtrack is really is is a, is a cool and it is a very cool soundtrack. It's beginning of the '80s, very nostalgic, and it's amazing to me how one decision when you if you really think about it. And I'm not a big as we know. I you know I'll continue. You know, you know stop me if you've heard this before. I'm not a I'm not a big sneakerhead, but I do appreciate the Air Jordan line and what it's done for Nike. And the thing is, I mean, if you think about it. I mean, they took a chance. I mean, you talk about a guy coming out of college. Not everyone coming out of college is going to be a superstar, but they took a chance. They saw something in Jordan. They were right. And boy, that that one decision. I mean, boy, you talk about a a, a, a uh, life altering decision for a company. Because Nike was known, but it was known more as like a tennis shoe, like a running shoe, a jogging shoe. They even said it in the movie. It's a jogging shoe, right? But they had some NBA. Um, but boy, when they got Jordan, that was the game changer. They got Jordan. They made that Air, the, 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 the Air Jordan ones. That shoe <laughs> it just took off, and that brand took them over the top. It just made them into the monster that they are now. Um, and it was a very shrewd and very smart move on the Jordan family to get, what, 1% for every shoe? Oh. <laughs> How much billions the shoes are, 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 go, are every year? That is, um, and that, that changed everything. That changed the way people were, you know, uh, athletes, you know, uh, had, a, had, a, had a stock in it because it's their name, it's their likeness, right? They do get a piece of the pie, but they didn't before. Uh, but they weren't like, Jordan, it, you know, and again, I'm not a huge, you know, real big with the shoes, but the, 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 the thing that, that put the Jordan thing over it was, it wasn't really about, it, it was about the athlete for the shoe. Before it was the shoe for the athlete, Jordan was, the shoe was made, this is for Jordan, this is the athlete, this, you know, the athlete and shoe are almost one, <laughs> you know, whereas before, yeah, I mean, they would wear, you know, Dr. J would wear the Converse, right, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, it would be the Converse, right, but it wasn't the athlete in the shoe, it was, yeah, they were selling the shoe, Jordan, it was just, it, it just, it, it, they just merged together. It was like a merge of the two things. Um, where it really became more about the athlete than about just about the shoe. And this is, this is part of Jordan, you know. Because this is a shoe that only he wears on the court. You know, everyone, all those players wore Converse or Adidas or, you know, uh, whatever the brands were, right? But Jordan, there's only one Jordan wearing the Air Jordan, you know? And he obviously became an incredible superstar. So they banked correctly when they chose him and when he chose Nike. I mean, you think about it, too, Jordan chose a brand that really wasn't they were on the map, but they really weren't like at the time Converse and Adidas just throughout the NBA, right? So he really he took a chance on them too. Now they gave him everything that his his him and his family wanted when they signed him, but you know he took that chance too, and I think it worked out well for him too. 
you know, because I mean, you think it, it's just Jordan. You think of Nike, it's Jordan. Now, obviously, you have LeBron and, you know, all, you know, and, you know, but when, you, I mean, a, a shoe with an athlete, I can't think of anything more synonymous with one shoe brand and an athlete than Jordan and Nike. And I know there's been other great athletes that have been with Nike and other shoes, but I can't think of one. Even LeBron, I, I can't think of one that just is more synonymous with the other than Jordan and Nike. I know it's Air Jordan, the Air Jordan brand, but that is it. When I think of an athlete in a shoe, I think of Jordan. Now, obviously, I grew up with Jordan, but that shoe is what you think of. When you think of any athlete in any shoe, it's, it's Air Jordan. But I would recommend that movie. It's, it's, a, it's a fun movie to watch. Uh, I thought it was done pretty good. I like the music. <laughs> right off the bat, they hit you with one. Right off the bat, right in the opening credits. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, no, I don't own a, any Jordan ones. I've never owned Jordan ones. And I, uh, if I can, you know, get Doc Brown's DeLorean and go back in time, that's probably a pair I want to have. <laughs> There's, there's still a pair of Jordans I still want again. I, I may have to still make that happen. Remember when I showed you that, the red and black pair? I, I still want those. I still want those. Those are still kind of calling my name. Even though I'm not a big sneakerhead, but I, I, I would like those. So that might have to happen. All right, well, we are back at the Mighty Kingdom here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this little... Uh, out and about vlog on Mother's Day. Ah, uh, little little showed you a little bit of inside Target. Got a little drive home here. A little chit chatting about whatever came to mind. Hope everything's going well for everyone. At bat. Have a happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, including my own. And uh, what do you always got to do, right? You got to leave those likes. Like it up, right? Like, like, like. You got to make sure you. Hit the bell icon and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Bell icon, of course, so you're notified by, for all future content by yours truly. And I will see you in the next one, whenever that next one is. You all have a good one out there. Let's go Sixers today. Come on. Eventually. <laughs> they got to win one of these, right? Eventually. <laughs> Hopefully it's today. All right, everyone. You all take care. I'll see you in the next one. I gotta hit the right button. That would be good.